You know, this car is probably the worst spot to put a DSLR camera with a vlog lens on it. So I am forced, I have to resort to holding the camera. But anyway, welcome back to another episode. And you guys are probably like, well, what the heck are we doing? It's nighttime. Exactly. I just got off of work. Uh, I stop at the gas station, get some gas, whatever. And then I think we're going to go home and maybe talk about some, I don't know, tackle or a rod and reel arsenal, whatever. Of course, I have to get some beer. I just worked hard all day. <laughs> maybe, maybe some Corona. Yeah, maybe a Corona. All right, here it is. And yes, it's turned on. Say hi. What up, dope? Wait, what? <laughs> Watch out, man. You got that on tape now. <laughs> Again? No. That was absolutely hilarious. Um, because <laughs> he didn't expect I was gonna do that. And then when I left, he's like, stop fucking around. But anyway, uh, let's continue continue this drive and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do when we get home. I don't I don't even know, this, this wasn't even supposed to be a video. I just grabbed the cameras, why not? much better and I think I just hit my fishing rods with the door I did and see look if you take a look here you got all these rods and you're like why don't they have line on them why don't they whatever how come there's only one with a jig a whopper plopper and what's back here uh, some spinning rods a frog whatever I don't know I just what is the point of today's video? I don't know. I'm just giving you guys an update. I've, I've been really busy. been working a lot lately. I don't even have to say it. You already know that. But how about we go through the tackle bag? Let, let's, let's see what's in my tackle bag. Even though I already did a video about that when I first started my channel. But a lot of you guys have asked for that. Ugh. I haven't opened my tackle bag since November. It's been over two months. So it, there might be some cobwebs in there. You never know. But I, could I tell you right now what exactly is in there? For I, I'm not sure. I mean, I, I think I have a good idea, but it's been a while. Let's see, we got in this monstrosity of a bag. Um, open this top here, and you have a bunch of. Plastics, Rage Menace, uh, Striking Rodents. I think I've got, what? Rage Craws for Texas rigs and jig trailers. You have my crankbait and jerkbait box. You have lipless crankbaits. You have the Strike King Red Eye Shad. You have the Square Bills, the Mega Bass uh, S Crank 1.5. You have Rapala DT4s, Rapala DT6s. Uh, bigger 2.5 square bills. I know there's got to be a, yep, a couple of Vision 110s in here. Uh, anywhere from 6 to 10 to 15 foot diving crankbaits, crawfish, shad, hot mustard. I love my hard baits. Yes. You have the spinner bait and the jig box, which is also sometimes the chatterbait box. You have the War Eagle 3.8 spinnerbaits, half ounce War Eagles. There's a Z Man chatterbait. Uh, it's the Chatter Frog. The uh, half ounce and 3.8 football jigs. Pretty sure there's a couple. Nope, that's a football jig. Football jig. There we go. Flipping jig, structure jig. Uh, a bigger structure jig. It, it's been a while since I've been through that box. See this box, the Bass Mafia box, this is supposed to be like where I keep my hooks, my flipping weights, my waist for Texas rigs, 
jig heads, stuff like that, rooster tails, whatever. But look, it's a disaster. It's a mess. You got tungsten. You got a small spinner bait. This is awesome. I was just about to tell you this is the top water box, but look, the top water box is broken. This is. Ugh. You got your Yozuri top water. Rebel Pop R, Live Target, Hollow Body Sunfish, uh, also Live Target Frog. Where's the Booyah Pad Crasher? Oh, that's on the Casitas. Uh, yeah, KVD Frog, uh, Whopper Plopper 110. I know, I know there should be a 130 in here. It's probably over there. Uh, BPS Popper. Really? The Super Spook Junior. And the KVD Sexy Dog. Two of my most favorite topwater baits. Check this out. Oh, it looks so appealing to fish. I'm going to take that rod and reel with the jackal jerk bait. I think that's what I'm going to fish with next. But I don't think if I go fishing with it, I don't think I'm going to catch anything. And what I mean is like right now there's still ice fishing going on, but I think I might try a river, okay? It, it just just a, a random thought okay but over to your rods and your reels you guys have seen the rod and reel arsenal i might i don't know i'm gonna stick with what i got i've got a bunch of heavies medium heavies mediums uh the spinning rods stuff like that uh might change a little bit this year not exactly sure now over onto like the tackle and stuff that's a giant mess it's not exactly what it looks like we got boxes of fishing line oh and before i forget shimano also sent me shimano hoodie good stuff and then what is this here we got g loomis shimano 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 a big shimano g loomis okay Thank you. You guys know exactly what I like. And hey, what the heck? Why am I wearing this Under Armour hoodie when I could be wearing the Shimano? I don't know. I mean, I don't need to... I wanted to give you guys an update, show you guys a few things. Why? I don't know. I'm just kind of have fun and didn't expect to even put on this hoodie but you guys got to do me a favor and let me know in the section below do you guys want to see another bass fishing rod and reel arsenal i did one last year and at the time i thought it was decent but now that i think about it i think it's pretty crappy so if you guys want to see a rod and reel arsenal an updated version let me know in the comments my boss he's an ex-marine but he wasn't like infantry and all that other stuff that you see a lot of on YouTube. Uh, he was military police and something else. And I don't exactly know what that is, but he basically, he was, he was doing the military police and the other thing, and he was training to eventually become uh, a SWAT team member in Los Angeles. And I've asked my boss, will he do a video for my channel for you guys to see? But at the same time, I do not want to... Have you guys think that I'm going to start doing like a military Monday or copy other people's military videos? So you guys really got to let me know in the comments about this one more than the rods and the reels. Do you want to see a military video from my boss? Do you guys want to see that? Do you want him to talk about his experience, how it was, what he thought, how he got honorably discharged because he got hurt let me know in the comments do you want to see a military video i've been working on getting him to do one because he's not quite so sure but i think if you guys let me know he'll agree to it but anyway i don't know that, that was a random video i mean i but i told you guys i'd keep uploading even if i got too busy to fish which is where i'm currently at so with all of that being said thank you so much for watching this late night vlog episode whatever you want to call it and i will see all of you guys next time